Well, won't you please come in? I'm sorry I'm in my pajamas. Jesse, I brought along a friend. I think you probably know her. Uh, June? Mrs. Cleaver. Hello, JC. Is this for real? Oh, please, come in. <laughs> Sit down, please. Oh, your apartment is lovely, JC. It certainly is. Um, Cookie, dear. Oh, thank you. I just put this milk over there beside you. Okay, thank you, Margaret. Well, J.C., we, we won't beat around the bush. We're here to discuss with you this guilt thing. Do we have anything to do with all this worrying and fretting about little Elizabeth? You can be honest. Well, Margaret, when I was a little girl, I used to think of you, of both of you, as the perfect mothers. I mean, you were perfect. You were always at home, in the kitchen, happily baking cookies. And then I grow up and I become a mother, and I'm nothing like you. I wear a business suit, I'm out the door at 8.15, I don't come home for 12 hours. And somewhere in the back of my mind, I keep thinking of you in your apron, and I keep thinking that I must be doing something wrong, and that I'm just doing something very badly. Oh, I don't know, it's so confusing. The whole thing just gets me crazy. But, J.C., you know we were just actresses playing parts. What do you mean? We reported to work and they tied those aprons on us. I'm not really the beaver's mother. In real life, we were just working mothers putting in a 12-hour day. Only back then they didn't call us working mothers. There was no Miss Magazine, no women's movement, no support groups. And speaking of wearing aprons, I never had time to wear one at home, did you? <laughs> never. No. <laughs> and my problem was the same as yours, J.C. I was forever comparing myself to the character I was playing. And I always came up short, too. Well, so, what's your advice? How do I handle the guilt that I feel when I miss seeing Elizabeth Skip for the first time? Uh, J.C., aren't you being a little hard on yourself? I'm sure you'll see her do something else for the first time. It may not be the same, but still you're here for her every night. Remember, you're the only mom she's got. But what about the fact that sometimes I'm not here when she falls down and hurts herself? Oh, how about how it breaks my heart when she cries when I go to work? How about that I miss her? Do you want to quit your job? No. I love my job. It's difficult, dear. But you have to keep juggling and be satisfied with the knowledge that your daughter will have you as a role model for what a mother should be. Lucky girl. Well, she is kind of proud of me already, I guess. I mean, she does have her own little briefcase, and she loves to play office. You see? <laughs> Listen to us, Daisy. Enjoy your life. You're one of the lucky ones. You have it all. Thank you.